Okay, so we call them UFOs, but the military calls them UAPs or Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Kirsten Holmes. I'm Marcella Lee. Barbara Lee and Carlo have the night off. An investigative filmmaker has obtained footage captured back in July 2019 of the unidentified flying objects or phenomenons off our coast. News 8's Brian White spoke with him about these strange sightings. Video and radar images were recorded off the coast of San Diego on board our naval warships, and Navy personnel were surprised at how these objects moved in unexplainable ways. One just sped up to 46 knots, 50 knots, closing in. Actually, 38 knots. Holy fast. Navy radar images from the USS Omaha. They were swarmed by UFOs. We're talking about nine ships over two sets of days in July 2019, just off the coast of San Diego. Investigative filmmaker Jeremy Corbell obtained and released these videos that were recorded by Navy personnel, and the Pentagon has confirmed their authenticity. There are machines of unknown origin swarming our Navy warships, flying with impunity in our restricted airspace. The footage shows a spherical object appearing to move rapidly across the screen before slowly easing into the water. Splash. Splash. This video was recorded on board the USS Russell, which was part of the same strike group nine off the San Diego coast. What you're seeing is somebody on the deck of the USS Russell holding up a night vision monocular. Through that monocular, they are filming some things, objects that were swarming their Navy warship. This is not a plane. These are not stars. These are unidentified flying objects that in fact are shaped like pyramids. With an upcoming report to Congress by the U.S. military, Jeremy has this to say about what we should expect. Over 100 UFO cases, unidentified, that display a sort of propulsion that outpaces, outmaneuvers, and outperforms our warships and our fighter planes. The Pentagon is expected to deliver a report to Congress on UFOs at the end of the month, and many are hoping this will shed some light on these incidents. I'm Brian White for News 8.